Hello, hello, hello. Hello, year five and six. Nice to see you again. Here we are, back in the hut, ready for some more Latin American music. It's definitely been the weather for Latin American music this week. It's hot and sticky. We're ready for a carnival. But first of all, we are going to take a bit of a detour and go to Central America. We're going to go to Mexico, first of all, today to have a bit of a warm up. We're going to do an echo sing. So I sing a phrase, you sing a phrase back, and that is basically the song. But it's all about a particular, not really a dance, but it's a physical movement that uh, the, I believe the Mexicans invented at massive stadiums for things like football matches. We've done one in Young Voices when we went to Wembley. All you have to do is to bend your knees, put your arms by your sides, you might know what this is, and then lift them right up on top above your head. It's called a Mexican wave. Now that in itself is kind of exciting. It gets you moving and it gives you some energy. But if you can imagine a whole stadium full of people doing that, one person after the next so that it ripples all the way around the stadium you can imagine how amazing it looks so we're doing a virtual Mexican wave so what will happen is <coughs> excuse me I've got a frog in my throat we are going to sing the little echo parts and there are two verses at the end of each verse there is an eight bar break and during that eight bar break, you can choose when to do your Mexican wave. I'll start it off on beat one, on bar one, and then you can put your Mexican wave at any point during the next eight counts that you like. And you can imagine your friends doing it around Buckingham and the surrounding areas like a virtual wave. One day, we'll get back together again, maybe, and we'll try it all together. Wouldn't that be great? Okay, so all you have to do today is just sing the echoes back to me. I'll give you the first couple of lines, just so you get an idea of what it will sound like. So I'll go. You don't have to go, you don't have to go to old Mexico, to old Mexico to learn how to do, to learn how to do a game that is new, a game that is new. Okay? The tune is the same for the next little section, it just has slightly different words each time. You may notice that during this song on the backing track there is a little bit of percussion going on. There's a guiro ostinato pattern all the way through it's got a bit of a kind of a rumba feel to it, actually. You may be able to copy that pattern when you hear it. But for today, just concentrate, concentrate on singing the echo and doing your own Mexican wave whenever you feel is appropriate. OK, are we ready? Let's go for the Mexican wave. Hope it's loud enough. I did try it. Can you hear the guero? <coughs> Timing 
close as a shade. It's the Mexican way. So this time, when you Mexican way, you sit down. Here I go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That was a quick account at the end there. Well done. Well, that, that's finished. Good job. Well done you. So we might do that again next week um, because it's just really good to sing and just to get yourselves moving and ready. Fabulous. That was the Mexican wave. So we've been to the, the northern part of Latin America now. Latin America is kind of the description for all of the Spanish and Portuguese speaking countries in South and Central America. So it covers quite a big area. So we are going to see if we can finish off our rumba song today. Can you say rumba? Rumba? If you can roll your R's, then you'll be ever so good at Spanish. They roll their R's a lot. Great. So last time I saw you, we had done the first two sections of the rumba song. Feel the buzz deep inside, the kind of chorus bit. And I think we did the very last little bit, didn't we? Do you remember where it repeats until we go, keep singing, at the very end? We did the second section. Um, and if you move to the beat of the rumba, there'll never be a doubt in your mind. Yeah? So this uh, lesson is going to have the last section, where the pitch, the height of the notes, gets a little bit higher. Just forgive me, I've, I've put a fan in here now because it's been getting so hot during all of this uh, lovely sunshine. I found a fan in the loft. So I feel like Beyonce, I've got a wind machine now. It's much more comfortable, but the hair keeps blowing in my mouth. Okay, so shall we just really quickly sing through the first two sections of the song to see if we can remember it. And then we're gonna have a go at verse three. Okay, so here we go. Let's find the track again. Might be a bit loud this time. Oh no, it's fine. It's got a similar kind of buzz to that Mexican wave. Feel that buzz deep inside. Feel it come to life when you sing. All those rich sounds for life, like a bell that's burst into ring. last week and do you remember <gasps> gets quite high eyebrows up so that we've finished on that really high note on behind all your worries will be left for behind so you've really got to open your mouth for all of that verse to get that sound out and sometimes it helps to lift your eyebrows up as well and feel the sound going out the top of your head <clears throat> okay so next little bit is slightly different starts down lower in the voice Sing to each little move you make. Feel the tingle down your spine. Okay, so I'll do it again and then it's your turn. I'll do it a bit at a time. Sing with, sorry, sing to each. Sing to each little move you make. You'll go. Sing to each little move you make. And then feel the tingle down your spine. You'll go. Feel the tingle down your spine. Are you feeling that tingle while you sing it? Because the key has changed a little bit. It has a different kind of atmosphere this time, so it might make you feel a bit tingly. Okay, I'm just gonna uh, clear my throat again. <coughs> bit dry this morning. So, sing to each little move you make. Feel the tingle down your spine. Let's do it. 
Sing to each little move you make. Feel it tingle down your spine. Okay? <clears throat> and now the next line is exactly the same as that first bit we've just done. And be sure every breath you take. You do it. And be sure every breath you take. Now the next line seems like it's going to be the same, but it changes at the very end. As you sing to the end of the line, it goes right up high. As you sing to the end of the line, can you do that? As you sing to the end of the line. Okay, so I'm going to put those two together. And be sure every breath you take, as you sing to the end of the line. Let's do that. And be sure every breath you take, as you sing to the end of the line. Okay, and then the very last little bit goes right down a full eight notes. We call that an octave. So it's from that note to that note. Can you hear? It's the same note, but it's just higher, lower, higher, lower. And you've got to do it quite fast. You've got to go, then you can hear it, you can see it. <clears throat> then you can hear it, you can see it. Off we go. Then you can hear it, you can see it. Okay, so that whole little verse, let's try it with the music, just so you get to see how it fits. And then we'll go back to the beginning and do the whole thing all over again. So here we go. It's going to start quite quickly. Sing to each little move you make, feel the tingle down your spine. Yeah, we're going from there. Sing to each little move you make. together. All right, shall we just try that verse one more time and then we can go right back to the beginning. Sing to each, off we go. Sing to each little move you make. Feel the tingle down your spine. And be sure every breath you take as you sing to the end of the line. Then you can hear it, you can see it, you can feel that buzz deep inside. Okay, so then you do the whole of the first section again. And you remember, when you go back to the bit that goes, feel that buzz deep inside, feel it come to life when you sing. You do that again. Feel it come to life when you sing. And then you miss off the end. Feel it come to life when you keep singing. Okay, hopefully we should remember all of that now fingers. Well I'm going to stand up for this one because I know that I feel much more comfortable singing higher notes when I'm standing up because I can support those high notes with my breath from my tummy. So I'm going to stand up and I'm going to slightly move up my uh, music stand so I can see the words properly. Okay so stand up, give yourself a bit of a shake so that we're ready to do this. I don't know if you've ever seen Strictly Come Dancing and seen folks doing the rumba. It's a very very slinky dance. You've got to really get your hips going and your shoulders and stick your chest out a little bit and your bottom. <clears throat> but on the top you're looking really composed and totally calm. It's all going on underneath here. So can you do that? Can you get all your breath working and your high notes working without it looking like it's a real strain on the top, on your face? But still, have some energy and some excitement there. We're going from the beginning, gang. Here we go. Back to the start. Everybody, <coughs> put this thing down. Here we go, deep breath. Feel that buzz deep inside. Feel it come to life when you sing. And you get all those consonants. Sounds collide like a bell that's bursting to ring. Let it ring, let the whole world know. Big breath in the rests. Let the song begin, let it start the show. Just let the rhythm grow and feel that buzz deep inside. Feel it come to life when you sing. All those rich sounds collide 
rich sounds collide like a bell that's bursting to ring. Let it ring, let the whole world know. Big breath. Let the song begin, let it start the show. Just let the rhythm go and feel that buzz deep inside. Feel it come to life when you sing. a little clap. <coughs> oh, there goes that sing up mambo again. It's unstoppable. Fabulous. Okay, so hopefully you've enjoyed singing that. That should have really warmed up your voice if you were going to sing anything else. And it just gives you a flavour of the slinky kind of sound of a rumba. It's not a high energy kind of piece. It's, it's a bit chilled. It's a bit smooth, the rumba. But now we are going to look at a different Latin American kind of, kind of dance music that absolutely isn't calm and relaxed in the slightest. It is the complete opposite of that. It is the samba. Now I mentioned that last week when I played you uh, a little bit of the Real in Rio song that hopefully we're going to have a chance to learn. But I thought today I would just introduce you to the samba and to some of the instruments and the rhythms that they might play in the samba. Okay, so samba is a really energetic form of music from Brazil. And it forms part of the most important part of Carnival, which they have all over Brazil, but mainly in, the, in uh, Rio de Janeiro. It's not the capital, but it's a really big city. It's where the Olympics were, right? <clears throat> okay, and what happens in Carnival is they just have the most enormous parade. I mean, you think that the Christmas parade in Buckingham is exciting. You have no idea. You can find YouTube clips of some of the samba bands at Carnival, but you've got to see it just for the costumes and the floats that they make. There are thousands and thousands of people just in the bands. There are some bands that have more than a thousand people in them, but it's absolutely astounding. But the main characteristic of samba music is that it's pretty much all percussion. There are hardly any kind of pitch playing instruments used at all. And that's what makes it so effective as a parade. Because you can just hear these rhythms. If you were standing in the crowd, you can hear the rhythms going and it all makes sense together. You can't kind of... Uh, the tune's gone about three blocks down the road before you've got to the drums. Wouldn't make sense, would it? It's absolutely astounding. So it's really all made of percussion. So there are competitions to see who are the best samba bands. Um, and the samba bands might use different styles of patterns. They have different names. Samba rag, samba batucada. They speak Portuguese in Brazil, so it's going to sound a little bit different to Spanish. Anyway, so what I thought I'd do is um, I'm going to send a bit of a PowerPoint through to Mrs Thornton. So if you're interested, you could have a look at basically what I'm going to show you now. <coughs> but I'm going to see if I can get these close up to the screen and show you the main instruments of samba bands. Okay, so cross fingers that this comes up nice and clearly for you. And then we're going to attempt to do a couple of rhythms from here. I'm going to do this as quickly as I can, because as I said, I'll send it through to you. So here I go. Right, so can you see? A big bass drum called a surdo. That's the thing that keeps the steady beat all the way through. If you have brought your junk percussion with you and you've got a bucket or a great big tub or something, that is what you would play. The surdo. 
they have their own rhythm. Now here we've got, we've got uh, a little sort of, it's like a snare drum this, called the Kaisha, the Kaisha. And again, that has its own rhythm and it's usually quite snappy because you can play it with two sticks. The Serdo, you probably would just play with one, maybe two if you've got it attached to you in some way. So that's the Kaisha. It's like a little snare drum, it rattles. Now these we spoke about last time <clears throat> because I was using a tin can, which would make a similar sound. The Agogo uh, bells. It's not very clear, can you see? Okay, so they're metal little tubes and they make two different pitches, but you can also squeeze them together so that the pitch changes. So if you have a tin can to play, brilliant. You could play the agogo -go rhythm. <clears throat> okay, now this is called a tambourim. So it's not a tambourine. It doesn't have any little rattles around the side. It's a tambourin. So it's about that big. It's not very large at all. And it's quite thin. So it makes quite a high pitched, really piercing little drum beat. Sometimes the tambourim would play the same sounds as the agogo -go bells. Okay, and then we've got another small drum. It looks like it might be as big as the surdo, but it's not, it's only about so big. Okay, but it hasn't got a, hasn't really got the snare, um, but that's probably the, the, like the main drum that they use for all the call and response patterns. This one's great. Isn't it fantastic having an instrument named after chocolate? Chocolo! It's a bit like a shaker, but it's made out of lots of little metal um, metal pieces. They're not always like little cymbals. So it sounds a bit like a, it kind of like a tambourine, but not quite so musical. It's a really rattly noise, like that. <clears throat> Chocolo! Whoop. And then one last one here. The reco reco. It's basically a scraper quite hard to see that. It's like a kind of a guiro. Okay, so as I said, I'll send the PowerPoint of all those pictures through to Mrs. Thornton and you can have a look at those at your leisure. And if you have a look at the YouTube clips as well, um, that I'm sure there's one YouTube clip that shows a parade of a samba band and that as they go past, you can see all the individual instruments. Okay, so let's have a go at just a few samba rhythms. So they're going to be slightly different to the mambo rhythms that we learnt last time. But you can use similar instruments. So I'm going to imagine that <clears throat> my cereal box and my stick covered with fabric is a surdo. Okay, it's a big bass drum. I could use my bucket, but I decided I'd use this today. It makes quite a good sound. And it is going to play this rhythm. We've got four counts again in each bar. And this is a very simple, simple rhythm. It's going to go like this. Oh, 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 let's go. Oh, 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 let's go. One, two, three, four. Oh, 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 let's go. Oh, 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 let's go. So if you've got a cardboard box or a bucket, join in with me. Off we go. Oh, 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 let's go. Oh, 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 let's go. Okay, so that pattern would pretty much go all the way through. It's a repeated pattern. It keeps the pulse of the music, but you can still feel that it's got a really syncopated sound to it. So that's your surdo rhythm. This is my biscuit tin. I've got my chopstick and I'm going to use this as a repinique sound, okay? A repinique sound or the kaisha. So there's little, the smaller, more percussive kind of drums. And the rhythm is going to be like this. Dance, 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 samba. Dance, 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 samba. a ring to it or a rattle to it or a bit of a sharper kind of sound have a go with me one 
two, three, four. Dance, 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 samba. Dance, 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 samba. Dance, 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 samba. Dance, 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 samba. Okay, got it? Great. <clears throat> so that's your repinik or your kaisha sound. Right, time for the tin cans. If you've got the tin cans, everybody, I hope they're not sharp. Here are our go-go bells, and the go-go bells and the little, little tiny drums, they get all the fun, the tambourines, they get all the fun rhythms, they get the really, really flashy bits. So we're going to go like this. Now I'm going to tap one bit of rhythm on the side and one bit of rhythm on the bass, so I get two different sounds. So it's going to go like this. I'm going to go everybody on the side part, and then I'm going to do the bottom, Let's go to Rio. Everybody, let's go to Rio. Everybody, let's go to Rio. Everybody, let's go to Rio. Okay, you ready to join in with me? You've got a tin can or something that really pings. One, two, off we go. Everybody, let's go to Rio. Everybody, let's go to Rio. So those are your three basic rhythmic patterns <coughs> for, um, well, probably a part of Samba Batucada. That's one of the most popular rhythms. If you've got a shaker, you're probably thinking, well, what can I do? The shakers get the fun part all the way through. They basically keep the pulse, but in tetes, in quavers. So if our pulse is this, one, two, three, four, your uh, shakers are going to be going actually four times that speed, so it's not quavers, they're called semi quavers. They're going to go one, two, and one, two, and one, two, and one. And they go up and down, so they kind of swing it a bit. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so there we are four basic bits of a samba batucada. You can practice those if you want to, go back and do those again. Um, and you can, if you like, just set yourself up a pulse like this. You can hear my feet are doing it, because they always march and they always move doing the samba. Uh, and you can play all those different rhythms if you've got more than one instrument. That would be pretty cool. But next week, we will do it with a proper kind of backing track and we'll learn a couple more rhythms as well and see if we can get them together. But for now, time for me to say goodbye. Hope you have a great week and I'll see you next time. Take care now. Bye.